third main topic today is this um lucas i had a little bit of time to show you or tell you that ang lee is making a biopic of of the other lee that we know <laughs> of the <laughs> one of variety. one of the other lees uh yeah the the legendary uh bruce lee of course right um the greatest Mixed martial artists of all. I don't, okay, I don't know. I'm just saying. But anyways, and yeah, you see how this article pulled up here by the Hollywood Reporter, and there's his son right there, and you can see um, Ang Lee taps son Mason Lee to star as Bruce Lee in biopic. Too many Lees in the title. That's what I would say. Um, Ang Lee taps son Mason Lee. <laughs> right to to to, to, to be star, star Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Right, <laughs> uh, but whatever. Uh, we love you, Hollywood Reporter. Uh, but yeah, Mason Lee looks like a shrunk down face version of his dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want to say anything bad about him. It's not that he's like weird looking or anything but he's weird looking he looks like he looks a lot like bruce lee i will say yeah like someone like photoshopped bruce's sure. face sure. onto sure. it sure. but, but shrunk <laughs> but, but anyways let me read a little bit of this uh article here director ang lee who i love ang lee guys if you don't remember did the 03 hulk movie which is still like probably one of my favorite comic book movies of all time um he also did the uh, the aviator right and um I just so much stuff. He's Ang Lee. Life of Pi. Life of Pi. Yeah, great one. Director Ang Lee, the, or Ang Lee, as some people would like to say, um, the Oscar-winning filmmaker behind Life of Pi, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, um, has tapped his son, Mason Lee, to play revered martial artist, actor, and filmmaker Bruce Lee in the upcoming action pick for Sony's 3000 Pictures. Dan Fuderman is pinning the script for Bruce Lee, a martial artist pick, a martial arts pick about the Chinese American actor, best known for his movie like fi movies like Fist of Fury, Enter the Dragon. Ang Lee will direct the drama. Mason Lee appeared in The Hangover Part Two as Teddy, which I don't quite remember, the teenager that led the characters to try to rescue, uh, to rescue as they struggle to piece together what happened during the Crazy Night Bangkok. We don't need to read all that. He also appeared in his father's 2016 drama, Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Watch. So again, never, never even heard of, and most recently starred in Taiwanese comedy Stand by Me. Mm. Obviously, the name Stand by Me is familiar, but I have no idea what the Taiwanese comedy comedy of it is. Um, and the Hong Kong drama Limbo and Who Killed Cock Robin? Who killed Cock Robin? Uh, anyways, uh, for which he was nominated for Golden Horse Award. That's pretty. That's pretty interesting um, for best supporting actor. Okay, so f I, I was under the impression that this was um, this was Bruce Lee's son. This is Ang Lee's son. Yes. This is Ang Lee's son. Yes. He does kind of look like Bruce for not being yes. his son. That's for sure. Yes. Um, yeah. Still weird though. Um, this kind of now just feels like one of those instances where like the shitty basketball playing kid is starting for his dad, the coach. I mean, hopefully it's not one of those situations. I mean, we did just read a little bit of, of an article that, uh, of this article that says that, you know, he just did win a golden horse and this and that. So, I mean, look, I, I could care less. The only thing I would say about this whole thing is, uh, love on Lee. Um, and way more than any of all of that, love Bruce Lee. And I think Bruce Lee was one of the greatest humans to ever walk the face of the planet. I think he was more in tune with himself than most people are with their own freaking pinky now. Um, and I think that anything Bruce Lee, for me, is good. They did the uh, Like Water documentary, 30 for 30, on ESPN last year. Loved it. Give me more Bruce Lee. That's I just I will eat that shit up. That dude was like Bob Marley with Kung Fu, man. I mean, <laughs> yes. So anything more Bruce Lee, I'll take. Um, so happy that this is happening. Um, happy that Ang Lee's doing it. Um, 
Happy we're keeping it in the Lee wheelhouse. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, this is interesting. A little bit of an interesting decision to cast his own son, obviously, to, to play Bruce. But, hey, you know, um, maybe he was the best guy for the job, and we'll see as we go moving forward if that's the case or not. But, Lucas, you're hearing this information. What are your thoughts on, on Ang Lee casting his son to play Bruce in this biopic? Um, I don't want to immediately call nepotism because, I, I mean, I have seen Hangover 2. Don't remember. I mean, like, as you were reading that, I remember the character vaguely. Right. But nothing that st- stood out. I, I can't say I've seen Mason Lee in anything else. Um, I mean, I'm willing to give him a chance. Like, I think the fact alone that Ong Lee is directing it, I'm going to, about Bruce Lee, I'm going <laughs> to stop. <laughs> you make him right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But... But I, I, I don't know. I think it, I think it's got a potential to be great, man. And I'm really like, I think this will be awesome. Bruce Lee is Bruce Lee. It's about time, right, that we get a Bruce Lee biopic, man. I mean, dude was legendary, still is legendary, and I, I love that we are keeping mm. it in the Lee wheelhouse. And it, for all that being said, I'm ready, I'm ready to give Mason Lee the chance to take that. Yeah, off. and I'm not a big biopic fan. I can't. Mm. I. It's, I don't want to say I can't stand him, but for the most part, it's like, again, and then I'll, I'll finally give it a shot, and I'll be like, okay, that was like the last 54 of them that I've seen. Um, but well, this, this is are, someone that I really, yeah. really love. So so for me, I would, even though I'm not a big fan, God, I would love this. For sure. Well, not, I mean, that's, that's, I feel like, why they do make the biopics for the most part, like fans of Queen. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Queen. I love Bohemian Rhapsody. And I think that was one of the better, well-done ones. But, like, The Doors, I mean, the biopic of them, love it. And and I'm going to enjoy this, too, because I think... I mean, they're all like each other because they are all biopics of people's right. life. And most of the time... Yeah, but dead, when they do gonna... the bands and the singers, they all kind of went through the same thing. There's a drug struggle. Sure. There's sure. a manager I get that. struggle. There's a... It's, well, and you're gonna have a lot of similar things with it because you know those are those are real elements. But you're not people... gonna have a lot of those similar things with Bruce Lee. No, right, right, right. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. And and so yeah, I think it's gonna be great. I, I I love biopics because even though they can be repetitive, sometimes I love learning about the the actual history for you know whatever it is that those people went through. And then especially if I'm big fans of them, like Elvis and whatnot, I really enjoy those. Big fan of Bruce Lee, gonna probably enjoy this. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I can't wait to 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 see this. Like I said, um, uh, also I haven't seen Ang Lee's uh, last few movies. I mean, there was the one uh, with Will Smith that they did in like 120 frames per second, um, where Will Smith played like a younger version of himself. Oh, Gemini Man. Uh, yeah. And I, ah, man, yeah. I tell you what, in a year that I went out to see like every movie that ever came out that year. I just didn't go out and see Gemini Man. And again, I Did love Ang Lee. Look. I also yeah. love Will Smith before mm-hmm. and specifically more after the slap. <laughs> um. <laughs> God, was that 2019 that that came out? Yeah, that was the year that, wow. that I went. Holy that crap. Me and my wife went every, mm-hmm. you know, four times a week to the theater. So, and yeah, we just avoided it. It just looked, I don't. It just didn't I don't look. No, it just looked so cookie cutter. It's yeah. too over polished for yeah. me, but. But yeah, but that being said, again, I love Ang Lee. Uh, I love Bruce Lee even more. So super exciting stuff. Guys, you're hearing this. What are your thoughts on Ang Lee casting his son to play Bruce Lee in this biopic? Definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below.